And today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Curento. Uh, Curento is an open source software project which provides a media server. And basically, first of all, I would like to make a brief introduction on, on what is a media server. Uh, as you know, WebRTC can work in a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, model. That means that browsers communicate to each other. But we can also create applications where there is something in the middle of the peers. This, is, this thing which is in the middle is often called a media server or a media infrastructure. And basically, if you look around, you will see that there are a lot of different media servers in the market and that these media servers provide basically three types of capabilities. Uh, the first one is transcoding. There are media servers capable of changing the formats of the video and audio codecs so that we can connect different types of technologies. Grid communications, and this happens through uh, MCUs or SFUs. And also media servers provide the capability of recording and playing. Okay? So this is what state-of-the-art media servers provide, basically. But in our vision, in the Curento vision, we believe that given that the media server has the media, the media is getting through the media server, why we can just record or transcode or make group communications? There are a lot of additional things that we can do with the media. We can, for example, do augmented reality, we can do computer vision, we can do media blending. In the telco industry, these types of capabilities are not very common, but there are many other industries where these capabilities are quite common. If you go, for example, to the content industry, to the industry of content distribution, of content generation, of advertising, the capabilities related to augmented reality, computer vision, and mixing streams in different ways are quite common. So, Basically, what we have created is a next generation of media servers providing a rich toolbox of capabilities going beyond recording, transcoding, and group communications. Um, we have created these capabilities into a, an open source software project whose name is Corento. Corento is uh, released using LGPL software license, so you can use it, you can install it, you can extend it without any restrictions. And you just wonder what does Curento means. Curento is an Esperanto word. I don't know if you have ever heard about Esperanto, it's a dead language, a language that was created for interoperability. And Curento is the Esperanto word for the term stream. So we wanted to name our project a stream, but unfortunately, a stream.com was already taken, so we came to a dead language, and we use this dead language for naming our project. And right now, we have Curento.com, Curento.org, and all the Curento stuff is our, okay? So, uh, we're going to start with a very simple demo showing some of the capabilities that our media server provides. And basically this one is catching a media stream from my computer. It's sending it to the media server and the media server is detecting my face and putting a hat on top of it, okay? So as you can see, if I move, the hat moves with me. It is real time, okay? And at the same time I'm doing this processing, I am recording, so if I press play, we should see it right now, the previous session recorded into the media server. So as you can see, this type of media server makes possible, in addition to recording, transcoding, and communications, to provide this type of advanced processing capabilities. And you may wonder, but is this useful? Is really useful to put a hat on top of a head? And in our vision, we believe that this can be quite useful for uh, business models and applications models. So PowerPoint was dead. We restart it again. This can be quite useful for uh, models beyond calls. And if you see this slide, you will understand what I mean. So basically, 
most people working with WebRTC are working in the convergence of WebRTC with the telco world, with the telco industry. So basically, most people is doing calls. And there are a lot of different solutions and different technologies, different companies, so that this convergence of WebRTC with the telco industry is quite crowded. There are very few opportunities over there to, to do something new. So we believe that WebRTC can be also converged with other type of industries, such as, for example, the content industry or the Internet of Things industry. Okay? So in relation to this convergence, I would like to show you some demos. For example, in this demo, I'm going to show you how we can use augmented reality for providing customized advertising. If you look to my t-shirt, you will see that there is a mark. But in the right image, you will see that this mark has been replaced by a logo. So basically, we are using computer vision and augmented reality capabilities. We can put it bigger so that the mark in my t-shirt is replaced by the logo I want. So if I'm making, for example, broadcasting to different types of users, I can put customized advertising adapted to the different needs of, or to the context of the different users. Okay? Of course, I need to have this type of mark in the image somehow. Here we have another different demo, which is more related to uh, Internet of Things. And I hope it works. It's taking some time. And just to conclude, let's check if this one is working. I hope it is. Let's check our networking. Okay, so this one is working. And basically, what we see here is that my face is being detected. And if now I come and click on one of these videos, I will see that beautiful girl coming and giving me a kiss. Okay, I think I deserve it. Thank you very much. So this this demo is using something called alpha blending. We are basically putting a video on top of another video, and we are using transparency so that both videos can coexist together. Okay? So this is something we have created for, for a customer who is working in advertising, and this type, of, uh, this type of applications can be useful. For example, if you imagine that instead of this girl, you have a famous singer giving you a kiss, then you can put this type of demo into a web page and you can ask for the people to come and receive the kiss of a famous singer. This is a way of making advertising. Okay? Of course, uh, we also have guys if you prefer. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much and sorry for the other demo who who, which didn't work, I invite you to come to table 70 to see it working. Okay, thank you very much.